Hello, welcome to Lefty's Craps. This is Matt. I'm going to show the tutorial for one of my two next sessions. This I found from Mark the Point. It's a regression system. It can win some nice money if you can get a couple hits. Um, but let me show you all the moving parts and then I will start rolling out the sessions. Okay, I'm just doing a tutorial, just basically for the uh, more beginner um, players. I want to show everything. So, basically, um, you know, you're going to have your chips. Let me show you all the chips to start also. That's going to be the first, your first thing. <clears throat> White's a dollar. Red's five. Green's 25. Black's a hundred. And then I play purple as my 500. And the 1000 is the orange. It's usually called a pumpkin. Okay, that's the chips and the amounts. Someone asked me that once, so I wanted to say that when you go up to the table, when you go up and you put your money down, um, etiquette of the game says that you should wait until the puck is off. Wait until the, uh, the puck is in the off position before you lay down your money you don't want to be in someone's role and you know it, you know it's in a point and they're in a real long roll and you go up and you throw money down well that'll stop the whole game and people probably will be upset with you from the very beginning so don't do that just have a little etiquette etiquette says buy in when the puck is off so please do that. Now your space, you can bet on the pass line. You can bet on this pass line. You can bet on the don't pass line. You bet in the field. You bet in the come. That's it. That's your space, basically. The person with the stick, the stick man or woman, they do all the hop bets. They do the C and E's which is the 11 or the craps numbers and we'll go through that here in a minute they do your hard ways they do your any sevens and they do your um, I was gonna say hop bets but they do those two the hops and oh, I always forget the name of these <laughs> okay I'm drawing a blank Horns. These are your horns. <laughs> and I throw a lot of horns too. Okay. So your craps numbers are 2, 3, and 12. Your, the E is just 11. Yo 11 is what you'll hear most of the time for 11. Um, after you get your chips... You know, you'll get, you'll have a rack, you'll have a, um, you'll have a little thing in front of you, a rail, your rail in front of you, and you'll have your chips. I have, I have this set up as 5,000, because one of my strategies is going to be a high roller strategy. So, uh, this strategy is, is a high roller strategy, so I have my... I have my bankroll is five thousand dollars sitting here okay but things you need to know about the game if you're the shooter you have to play the pass line or the don't pass line if you want to throw the dice if you want to be one of the people that throws the dice if not you can tell them to skip and they'll skip over you and they'll go to the next person and you can just play other bets um, so that's up to you, but a little more about that here in just a second. I do need to tell you that all the boxes, 
These are called the boxes, the four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. These are your box numbers. And you can bet the don't come. This is another area you can bet is the don't come. But the box numbers, this is all dealer's space. This is their space. This is their space. All this is their space also. So you don't you don't do that. If you want to bet, say if you say I want to bet I want to do $24 and who knows if you'll have you might just have a quarter. You would just lay your quarter down in front of you in the come and the dealer will ask you what do you want to do with this and you'll say I want 12 on the 6, 12 on the 8 or whatever your bet is. You'll just lay it down in front of you and as you're betting you want to lay your bets in front of you. So if you're standing here at the table you know you want your bet you want to put your pass line bet here your don't pass here. You would be, if you were playing the don't comes later, you would be somewhere in there in the don't come. If you're making come bets, you're going to be somewhere in there. Field bets, you'll be here. Well, in here, because you're on this side of the table, basically. But you want, you want your money in front of you, and you want to know what pays what. You need to know that before you walk up because dealers are humans. Everyone makes mistakes. And so you just need to know. But those are some basic things about the game you need to know about. Now more about this particular strategy. Okay. So this strategy is going to be played. Um, they, they did not play the pass line or the don't pass. But let me explain that real fast, just because those are the big things. Those are one of the biggest things of the game. So, at the beginning, if you're the shooter, of course you got to play the pass line or the don't pass. There'll be a little placard on the table somewhere. There'll be a small little placard and it will tell you the table minimum the table maximum and the and the odds for the table now I'm not playing odds in this strategy and I have it in any strategy that I've rolled out so far in the future I will play some strategies with odds and you can play odds also in strategies if you want I'm just not showing anything with odds because that's more advanced I'm trying to stay more like at a beginner uh, type, but let's say if you're in a $10 table, well, $10 is the minimum. So you would go out for $10 on the pass line or on the don't pass if you want to throw the dice. And what will happen is the stick person will give you five dies. You'll, you'll make a pass line bet. The pass line wins and they don't like you to say seven so big red is what is said for seven so big red and eleven wins on the pass line on the first throw when the puck is off when, when this is off you throw and you throw a seven or eleven here well that wasn't a good example because that was a two well that loses there's three combinations that lose on the pass line. 2, 3, and 12. 7 and 11 win in the beginning. Okay? So this is called the light side. Okay? The dark side is considered the don't pass. You can also play odds here. You can play odds on the pass line also. You can play odds on the don't pass. The 12 is barred, so you don't have to worry about the 12. The 2 and the 3 win on the don't pass. The 7 and 11 lose on 
they don't pass. Just so you know. Okay, moving on. You have your field bets, and you can see all those numbers, and then come bets. That's not in this strategy, so I'm not going to go through that. Don't come is just the opposite of the come, and it's pretty similar to the pass line and don't pass, but I'm not going to explain that. I'm not playing hard ways. I'm not playing hops. I'm not playing the horns in this strategy, so I'm not going through all of that right now. So, in this strategy, <clears throat> we're not going to play. We're not going to play the pass line. So basically, we're just going to get a point established. So let's say the point is not yo eleven. <laughs> Let me get a point here. <laughs> okay, seven. Funny. Okay, six. Six will be our point. Okay. It doesn't matter what the point is. Your first bet is going to be 330. 330 on the inside. You would just put 330 in the come or in front of you. And the dealer will ask you, what, you, what do you want to do? And you say, I want 330 on the inside, please which is 75, 75, 75, 75, and then you gotta put your caps on the six and eight. So the six and eight are 90, 75 on the five and nine. And why you do this is for the strategy, basically. If you can throw and then you get a hit, and let's say you get a six, okay? Let's say the point's four. I don't want to mess with that. I don't want to have to mess with that. But let's say you roll a six. Your point is four. We rolled a four first. So your point is six. You're going to win $105 on any of these bets. Any, any of these four bets, you're going to win $105. Now you invested $330 to start. So... Just bear with me. I know it's a big bet in the beginning, but it regresses very well. So now you're going to come down one unit. You're going to come down $110. You're going to take off plus the 105 you won. So now you're at $215. Okay? That's going to go into your rack. That's going to go back into your rack. Okay. So. And I took the 105 out of the bank. Let me put that back. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Just so I'm trying to stay, stay straight. Okay. So let's say we roll the dice again. And we get. Eight. Hard eight. Because the dealer. The dealer will push you five dice and you'll pick two and then they'll take the other three and they'll take those out of the way. Okay, let's say your next roll is an eight. Now eight pay seven, now they all pay 70. 50 on the five, 50 on the nine, 60 on the six and eight. They all pay $70. So basically you would get paid for that hit you would get paid $70. And you would come down one more time. You're gonna come down another level. So now, you're at 10, 20, 30, 180. With your hit, Plus coming down 110, that's 180. Now you know what happens then? Well, you're up $65 at that point. You're out of the hand, you've won $65, and you have 110 on the inside, paid for. Casino money basically.
and you want to take that down, okay, and you and you want to just wait for the next shooter, that's fine. You made a good you made a good amount of money, but I think you need to try to invest. You know, keep playing until Big Red comes and knocks you off. Now, what you can do at this point is you could just press and collect how you'd want. It's totally up to you, and what I think I would do, what, what one suggestion was, is that we would take $30, and we would go on the 4 and 10 also. So, you've only, you, now at this point, you have won $35. You have all this bet, $140. You have every number covered. This pays 35, this pays 35, 35, 35, this pays 30. On the next roll. So let's say you have another roll. Well, man, that point keeps getting in my way. But anyway, that won't matter because I mean, it would turn your point off. You would get paid $30 there. And you'd have to get another point, you know. Ten. Okay, so ten would be your point. So, anyway, you would get paid thirty on the four. So you'd be making another thirty. So you would just keep you just keep collecting and pressing however you want. That's how the strategy was explained. That's how you can make some quick you can make your money pretty quick and easy you just have to get two hits in the middle box numbers it is a big it is a big investment three hundred and thirty dollars is a lot I mean I don't ever think I would go play that much I, I you would need you would need at least twenty five hundred to three thousand dollars I would say at least three thousand dollars and I would I would want enough for ten shooters so thirty three hundred dollars and that's without having to play the pass line or the don't pass if you were at a twenty five dollar table plus you were having to play those you would be at thirty five hundred you would need thirty five hundred for the strategy if you were at a twenty five dollar if you were playing twenty five on the pass line you would need $3,550. So, to play 10 shooters. And that's if you never got knocked off the pass line. And you probably would, so. And you might win on the pass line. Who knows? I, I don't know. But it, it just depends on who the shooters are, how you, sh you know, if you're just the one shooting, or if you have great shooters. Now, they wouldn't be me, because I, I have terrible luck at shooting, just so you know. But I'm going to try, and I'm going to roll it out. I, I'm going to roll out the strategies, you know, so, so everyone can see. But basically, that's it. You're just going to press and collect from there. And if you want to play the hard ways, that's fine. You want to play the hop. You want hot bets? That's fine. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna try the. But now, you're. And I always forget the name of them. <laughs> well, it'll come to me here in a second. But these are a one-time bet. Now your hard ways, they are more than one roll. And then if you want to play the field, it. It's not, it's one of the worst bets on the table, but you could just, but you're going to have plenty of action up here, I think. Okay, sorry about that. That phone has a mind of its own. But yeah, $5,000 bankroll. I've seen the strategy on Mark the Point. We're going to try it out for 30 sessions and see if it can win over time. I'm going to get started. I hope to roll out a session today. 
Um, if not, you're going to at least see the tutorial. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all your likes and your subscribes. Remember, God is great. Lefty out.